Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Swatch Circle. I just love drinking coffee in my Believe Mug. It makes me feel all warm and ready for a good Squatch story. If you'd like to get any products shown, please see links in description below. Thanks, Robbie, for the kind words. It's viewers like you and others that keep us encouraged to go on. Report number 59633, Class Alpha. State, Kansas. County, Mitchell County. Observed. I was going to Concordia, Kansas with my sister and her husband on August 31, 2017. We were on Highway 24 and 9 going eastbound. I did not get the mile marker. I wasn't thinking about it. Around 9.35 p.m., I was telling my sister who was driving to be careful about deer running across the road because we've seen a few. Some did not even look at the truck we were in. Most were focused on the cornfields. Anyway, when we got by a lake that is in the area out of the cornfield, a big buff gorilla looking man hopped out on all fours, jumped from the cornfield to my left in front of me and onto the left side of the road. He was on his knuckles. His head was like tucked in and he was big and quick and agile. He took another jump and cleared the road, moving left toward the edge of a cornfield. He stood when he got to the other side of the road. When he stood up, my sister said, What was that? I told her that was a Bigfoot. I looked to the side. She wanted to stop. I said, No, sis, we don't have a gun, and we're women. Who knows what it would do? When he stood up, he was at least one foot higher than the corn, which had to be about eight feet plus. When he stood up on the side of the road, I could only see his outline because the moon was not that full yet, almost though. I got a scared yet amazed feeling. I had rocks thrown at me before in Colorado, but never saw them. To my eyes, he was beautiful, strong, had big legs, like a dark gray feet with black around his ankles and dark, dark brown with hues of reddish at the tips of his hair. I could see muscle definition in his body. His arms had to be at least 24 inches round or bigger because he was big, not skinny at the waist. Big legs to his ankles and his arms were bigger than most bodybuilders. The only thing that I got out of that experience was how tall he was. The body gesture was, he's seen us and I told my sister, just leave him be. You know that was one of the most coolest things I have ever seen. He is real. And as long as it doesn't bug me, I won't bug it. Also noticed, quiet, no crickets. Other witnesses, me and my sister, my brother-in-law, was asleep. Other stories, nope. Time and conditions, 9.35 p.m. Environment, just the two-lane road and the two opposite cornfields. I could see a little because of the light of the moon. A and G references, 11 to 2. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Carter Bouchard. Regarding the correction of some of the location info provided in the original submission, the highway they were driving along is both Interstate 24 and State Route 9, not Highway 19 as stated in the original submission. Interstate 24 splits from State Route 9 after you pass through Calker City headed eastward. They were headed east towards Concordia, Kansas around 9.30 to 10 p.m. on a moonlit summer's night. I spoke with a witness by phone, a 59-year-old woman with a photographic memory. Her recollection of the event was actually quite remarkable. I will add extra details. The Sasquatch emerged from the cornfield on her right about 100 feet ahead of the truck. They had slowed down a bit before that point when they spotted deer out near the highway. There was also a pickup truck with four guys in it that was kind of doing crazy stuff on the highway and they wanted to be safe. She saw the Sasquatch at first standing in the corn on the right side. Then it jumped out of the cornfield and landed in a squatted position like it was going to jump again like a sprinter. I it jumped again and crossed to the opposite side just as the truck came up on it. 
She guesses it had 10 to 15 second view of the creature. It wasn't much more than a lane's width away when they passed it. It looked right in the truck window. They were driving a Chevy S10. There was a slight ditch on the side of the highway between the cornfield and highway. That's where it landed. Physical characteristics of the gorilla man, 9 to 10 feet tall at least. It was a male without a shadow of a doubt she saw genitals. The hair around the head was like a lion's mane. The color of the hair on the head was darker brown with auburn tips. It seemed to have a brow ridge that stuck out. The skin was a darker gray than the fur. Slightly conical head that just sat on the shoulders. It turned its whole body to look at them. The eyes were two to three times human size. They had wrinkles under them. The eyes sort of glowed like a cat's eyes do when hit by light, but not real bright. There was a slight greenish glow. There was no sound from the creature at any time. The nose was mostly flat like a Hawaiian or Pacific Islander's. His ears were sort of twisted looking, not flat like ours. He was ripped like a bodybuilder with a tapered waist and he was just all buffed out. The moon was out and between the moon and the ambient light of the truck she had an excellent slow motion view. We just stared at each other as they slowly drove by. The hair was generally about three inches long on most of the body. But along the bottom of the arms to the elbow, it was longer, perhaps up to five to six inches at the elbow. There were small areas where she saw no hair at all, just bare skin. It jumped across the road in front of the truck, stood up, then disappeared into the cornfield on the other side of the highway. As she stated, she told her sister not to stop because she didn't know what it was going to do. Two women with brother in the back passed out in the back seat. She says he was a beautiful, finely built creature, and she wanted to leave him be. She was so happy to have been able to see one. Watching, please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatching t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever you go.